when you pray, not need repetition one. Jesus Christ also say, repetition prayer is like repetition. Repeat, 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 repeat. And so we say repetition is not accepted by God. Have you ever seen people pray in your small little prayer group? After a while, uh, it's like a broken record. <laughs> repeat, 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 repeat. Because he didn't know what to say already. So he repeat first law, then he's thinking, hmm, what's the next, next item? But Jesus, listen, he prayed for three hours and he was repeating his prayer. He was saying, Father, Father, it is possible. Let this cup be taken away from me. Not my will, but your will. And then he said, Father. And then he said again, Father, it is possible. And I had finished the sentence. And then he said again, Father. And he didn't for three hours. There is a difference between a ritualistic, empty, the heart is absent, just mere gibberish, gibberish of repetition. It's a difference from one who is so overwhelmed by the emotion bursting out. We sweat dropping like blood. I'd like to confess to you, I never experienced this. I may have some wet palms. I may have, after saying so many times, around my mouth is full of saliva. I must say, sometimes when I pray, my eyes get a little bit moist. And with one stroke of my finger, it is done. I must say, there are times I feel the temperature in the room is too hot because I forgot to switch on the air con. But I never experienced like Jesus when he prayed, he sweated, dropping like blood. Oh, it must be some prayer. He was obedient. We always say this. Jesus is the perfect man. One who is without sin. We believe that. We also believe in the public ministry of Jesus. Whether it's a natural phenomenon, like even walking on water, coming this, this, Turbulence, or even touching one with skin disease and clean it, becoming like baby skin. He could make the blind see and deaf to hear and mute to speak. He could even raise the dead. And he prayed, and the Bible said, the Father delights in Jesus. And I believe that every prayer of Jesus is answered by the Father. But here's the catch. One prayer, the Father did not answer. It was Gethsemane. Father, if it is possible. Remove this cup. 
And this cup speaks of his crucifixion on the cross like a lamb slaughtered someone said this pastor I need something I pray uh, Hmm, the father never tell me anything. So, uh, pastor, you prophesy over me? Lah? You think I'm higher than the father? If you pray, the father never tell you, you think I dare to open my clever mouth to tell you many things you like to hear? You think I'm a Prophesy machine, just put 20 cent coin into my mouth and everything comes out for you. I go to this lunch fellowship and I will not tell you which one. But I'm so popular in the lunch fellowship because this same sister always show up when I preach. And every time I finish, the chair lady will say, any one of you need prayer, you come up. And this is the same one I've seen for some donkey years. And she come and say, Pastor, pray for me. And after I pray, she look at me through outside the glasses. And then she say, mm, that's all? And I say, what do you want? And she say, prophesy. And then she closed her eyes. And I said, the Lord say, thou shalt pray. <laughs> and he will tell you things beyond your imagination. <laughs> and then she looked at me and said, you call this prophesy? I said, it is, may not be a prophecy, but I definitely quoted you a Bible verse. And a Bible verse is also the word of God. And it's more the word of God than prophesying by men who may have taken too much roti chanai on that morning. You might get roti chanai prophecy. But the word of God is the manner and it shall not corrupt with some worms. Oh, my time is up. I must close now. Last point. Last week I went to Singapore. I have a need. I think I've come to a crossroad in my life. And I said to this man, a long time friend, and I said, Pastor, I, I'm at a crossroad in my life. Would you please Give me godly counsel. This is a pastor talking to another pastor. And this Singaporean man look at me and say, I do not wish to be overly simplified in my counsel, but may I suggest to you, if you wish to know the will of God, you must pray. And I say, I preach prayer. I teach prayer. Now tell me if you can. How do I know it is the will of God? And then he say, I do not wish to be oversimplified. But when you pray and when God tells you, you know. And I look at him and say, you wasted my lunch time with you. Can you please give me something more profound? There is nothing more profound than in the life of Jesus. He was 